So good morning, and this is what I'm waking up to. So we are at Cape and Ridge, and just look at this view. Unbelievable. Trying to do this as slowly as reasonably possible and walk just so you can see the view that I'm seeing. Spectacular. And there's a the zip line. Good morning. Well, um, we arrived at Cape and Ridge. I already did my walk up there. And um, it's an absolutely beautiful day at this moment. I left sunshine, drove into a bit of clouds, and now I'm back into the sunshine. It's going to be a cloudy day on and off. Um, beautiful, beautiful place. Cape, Cape and Ridge, I, I would highly recommend it. you got to pay to come into it, but you get to walk up to the lighthouse. It's a restaurant on site. You can have lunch. Um, it's set up. You can bring your lunch. There's a picnic table set up. You can go down to the beach. You can zip line if you want to book at the zip line uh, run. Um, there's also tours you can book. It's a place where you can bring your family for the day. It really is. So wasn't quite what I was expecting, which is a pleasant surprise, but the the scenery and the rock formations and the geology of what is around here is pretty amazing. I would like to have done the beach, but um, I want to get my day done today. And uh, that being said, we are making our way to Sussex. I'm hoping that I can get one more covered bridge in today. I think I'll hit Alma first and then um, hit the covered bridge and then make my way up to Sussex. I'm in a small pocket, so it's, it's just that I have to do a lot of going back, back and forth kind of thing, uh, retracing my steps. That being said, the tidal bore, which you would have already seen by the time you see this video, the beer garden, the spot that we stopped to watch the first tidal bore, um, the beer garden that is there, they actually make their beer in Alma. So I'm going to buy a couple beer. In 700 meters, turn left onto Foster Road. In 5.6 kilometers, arrive at 45 River Number 1 Covered Bridge. Interesting.
Okay, so I'm scrapping the 45 point covered bridge off the uh, radar. I um, It's an old dirt road, not maintained, and I'm having to travel around 10, 15 kilometers. I'm not going to do that for another 5 kilometers because clearly the, the bridge is not operational. So, um, that being said, I'm heading right back into Alma. I'm going to gas up. And I'm going to make my way to Sussex and see if there's any covered bridges between here, Alma and Sussex, along the way. It would be nice to get one today. on traffic. Now we've got a pull, pull in here for a reason. Spotted this when I stopped and I thought, okay, how cool is this van? sale. Are you enjoying your treats? Eh? Are you enjoying your treats? You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Even the people at Octopus Garden can believe how well behaved you are on the patio. Eh? We are at the KOA in Sussex. Um, just watching the weather, I've got a place already lined up for tomorrow to head to. That will tomorrow will cover my potato chip, my covered covered bridges potato chip factory that I want to to see, um, and also the Heartland covered bridge. That's the longest um, covered bridge in the world. Okay, so it's a national historic site. Um, keeping an eye on this weather system that's developing. So after tomorrow night, the rain is supposed to start to happen. So that'll get me not too far from where I'm stopping from the Quebec border. I've been dodging mother nature now for since June. June, the locals said we never had June this bad. And July, Nova Scotia, and them saying we never had Summer this bad, so much rain and everything else, and yet they had all those forest fires. You know, they never had mosquitoes this bad, and they never, you know. So it's just been New Brunswick, the same thing. We've never had so much rain, you know. But still, over, overall, we did a good tour of New Brunswick. I mean, this is the 7th, and I've been here since the 30th. So that's nine days. Tomorrow will be 10. So, 10 days in New Brunswick. That's not too bad. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've liked what I've shown. It's, um, this is all brand new to me for YouTube. Not experienced in doing video editing or anything like that. I'm a payroll professional by trade. So, this is really out of my realm. And 
I struggled with internet connectivity, which again, if I'm trying to learn something, I can't learn it because everything is online. So I don't have internet, I don't have it. So we're doing our best. Uh, I think that's my big winter project is to step it up and get ready for next year, which is going to be the West Coast. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So hang tight. I'm not done with this year yet.